Now, I am currently a little bit out of breath because I just ran downstairs and ran back to collect my phone in order to convert my weight into pounds for you, which I'm gonna do right now. So, before I even speak, we're gonna get right into the deep end. I'm gonna throw myself in at the weight-based deep end. If my weight was a pull, if my weigh-in was a pull, I'm jumping straight in. It doesn't seem to be focusing, to be fair, but who cares? I think you can see it good enough. What are we looking at? Ooh, that's intriguing. 102 kilos, so, I mean, that's a good thing, really. Let me just quickly convert that for you. 102, oh crap, 102 kilograms is something I am apparently incapable of writing in my phone. 224 pounds, so that's like, uh, I think it's like a half a kilo, a pound or so again from last week, I think, which is good because I'm not trying, I'm, I'm, I keep saying this, I am essentially just in a maintenance phase with a little bit extra, you know? So what I'm basically doing is eating um, what I want, but just occasionally supplementing that by just forcing myself to eat a little bit more than I want to comfortably, because otherwise I think my weight will keep dropping. I don't want it to drop too much. Ideally, I want to just kind of sit where I am. So 102 kilos is a little gain from last week. I'm perfectly happy to do that. I mean, my, my ideal scenario is to keep getting stronger and to just be comfortable with my diet, not to be stressing and not to feel you know sick all the time like I was when I was bulking leading up to the British Champs. So if I can gain a little bit of weight while I'm doing that, obviously that's a bonus because it means I'm gonna be getting stronger. And the amount of bodybuilding stuff I'm doing, pretty sure that is some good lean mass that I'm building there. So in terms of my bodybuilding stuff, I've made a bit of a change this week and it's worked really well. What I've essentially done, it's just been a bit more strenuous in terms of my, uh, my monitoring of my bodybuilding work. So previously, Obviously I'm prioritizing powerlifting, I am a powerlifter, and so what I'll do is powerlift and then just do whatever, you know? I split my bodybuilding into push and pull and that's it. I'll just do some pull stuff, do some push stuff if it's a push day, not even worry about what I'm doing. Whereas now, I've got a bit more of a schedule in that respect. So what I've got is on my push days, some days I'll do a fly-based push day, other days I'll do a true push-based push day. In my pull stuff, some days I'll do like a uh, more kind of barbell stuff, so like bent over rows, and then other days it will be more kind of machine stuff, so flat rows, that kind of stuff, cables and whatever. But I figure that if I do that and I monitor the sets and reps and the weight a little bit more, it obviously it's gonna lead to more gains, you know? Like what I figure is that I want to, the more lean mass, the more muscle mass I build, the more strength potential I have. And if, if, if obviously I count, you know, if I monitor the weight and stuff and I do the same stuff each week, I can get that progressive overload, I can get bigger, and then that in the long run is going to enable me to get stronger. And plus it's more fun. It's boring. If you just do the same, if you just do whatever and you don't think about it, you just kind of go in and wing it. It can be easier, but it's a little bit monotonous. Whereas this way it's more exciting because you're trying to beat stuff each week, just like with my powerlifting. Uh, yeah, now in terms of food, it's been, yeah, it's been, it's been nice. I feel like a kind of return to being like a normal human. Like I'm not, no, within reason, normal human. Like I'm not having to just cram food in my face all the time and just feel sick all the time and just resent food. Now I just feel like I've got more of a normal relationship with food. So if there's, a, I mean, for example, last night, I, I should have filmed it last night, went out uh, with some friends and I got these ribs and it was so good and it was a massive meal. And it's the first time I've eaten a massive meal in ages and not just resented it. Like up until the British Champs, I was eating massive meals every day and it was just a horrible, horrible, it was like a, it was like a job, you know, a full-time job, it sucked. Whereas that last night was awesome and I really, really enjoyed it. So it's nice to be back in that frame of mind, not stressing about it. Um, yes, anyway, it's just turning into a bit of a kind of psychological, philosophical, food-based uh, rant. So let's just uh, get on with it. I'm sure you want to see some food and some training. So by all means, do it. And here we go. So this is a back and bicep worker, AKA a pull workout I did earlier in the week and it was good and it was a very nice example of exactly what I was just talking about. So I started off with some barbell rows. If you are an OG subscriber and used to watch me in the old crappy gym, I did these all the time. They've kind of slipped out of my workout routine purely because this gym has loads of machines. I'm a bit lazy and it's nice to sit down and use one of those, but I'm going back to these because I think they're a really important compound to do. So I'm going to keep them in once a week. I did uh, four sets there. The first three sets heavy, kind of eight to 10 reps, and the last set about 13 or 14 reps with a less, uh, less weight. Then I moved on to some seated cable rows with all kinds of back engagement. Have a look at that. Woo! Um, I did five sets here. So uh, as I typically do, the first four sets heavy, kind of anywhere around the 10 rep range. 
the last set a really quick drop set up to about 15 reps just to really really smash my back then on the same thing i changed the attachment and did some uh, cable lap pull downs exactly the same thing five sets the first four sets heavy kind of eight to ten ish reps the last set a quick drop set with about 15 or so reps um, now i do find it a little bit hard to hit my kind of lower lats like where they insert on my back uh, and so i find this is probably for me the best thing I, the, the kind of the best way i can really kind of envisage myself doing that i can really kind of feel uh, that engagement there so i do like to do those with, with a nice wide grip um, but that is definitely an area i'm working because i do feel like i lack uh, lower lats for sure then i finished the workout with some bicep stuff and of course because i am a lad i did some old school curls in the squat rack with a barbell this is my drop set by the way would have been awkward if someone had come into that moment did about six sets first five sets heavy last set is a drop set and that is that now enjoy some food just got back from training and this is what i'm about to have doesn't get much more food pornish than that if I was cheese, I would want to take this cheese into some kind of cheese house and have my way with it because look at that. How good is it when it gets like all stuck and just smushes across? This is a um, brie, bacon and cranberry baguette. One of my, probably my top three favorite sandwich options. Um, this is round one, I'll have two of these. Uh, this is also homemade bread, so Sarah's made this, so it's got all of the, where is it? The my protein like seed mix, which is really really cool for adding, to obviously adding to bread, but also just other stuff like cooking, like I don't know stir fries or whatever. It's quite cool to get some extra protein in, makes the bread better, and again, just to emphasize, look at that. I mean, that is pretty astounding. You've got the protein from the bacon and the bread as well. Uh, you've got the fat from the cheese, carbs, because obviously it's bread and just in general salmon is pretty carby. And I am pretty excited to eat this. So I. I'm trying to hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe as always, and I will see you tomorrow.